In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to create spooky ghost. First, you will learn how to redraw illustration from sketch using pen tool, and then we'll see how to use freeform gradient and opacity mask to create incredible health transparent ghost. You are watching TNT tutorials. Let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download reference, colors and sketch by the link in the video description. Create layers for them, place them like so. Let's create new layer. I will rename it to Ghost. I will hold Alt and use Scroll to zoom in. To navigate through workspace, hold Space Bar and hold left mouse button. Right now we need Stroke only, so with Fill Color icon selected, let's click here on None, P for Pen Tool, and let's quickly redraw this object like this. If you didn't use Pen Tool before, I recommend you to watch tutorial Guy on a Scooter, where I show different ways to use Pen Tool, from Basics to Advanced. This shape is very easy, so we will use only basics of pen tool here. Press A for direct selection tool, manipulate handles and points, to change something, or to make some lines look better. Everything is very simple here, just don't create too many points. A for direct selection tool, you can draw another eye or simply duplicate this one, hold Alt, drag it like so, Properties, flip along horizontal axis, then A for direct selection tool, and you can change it a bit. Let's make sketch layer invisible. For now I will make ghost layer invisible also. Let's create new layer, and rename it to background. Let's swap fill and stroke, M for rectangle tool, draw rectangle like so, then Gradient, Radial Gradient, select this slider, Color Picker, let's pick this color, and for this slider, we will pick this dark color. Later you will be able to change this gradient, just press G for Gradient tool, move it, change it like so, play with sliders, I will press Ctrl Z, let's lock background layer, bring it down, Make ghost layer visible again. Let's select eyes and mouth and press Ctrl G to group them. Let's make them invisible for now. Select this shape, eye for eyedropper tool and let's pick white color. Gradient again and this time we will use freeform gradient. In freeform gradient we have points and lines. I will show you difference between them. It might seem obvious but I have some important hints for you. With points active, hold shift, select few points. You can't do this with lines mode active. Let's simply delete them. We have one point here. Let's double click on this point. Pick white color. Now we can switch to lines mode. Pick this point and create line like so. To stop drawing line, press escape. Right now we need to work with this point only, we need to pick it. Let's do this with lines mode active. And you can see that after we will pick this point, it will suggest that we need to draw line. Of course you can work with this point only, but later when you will have a lot of lines, a lot of points, I recommend you to switch to points when you want to work with points only. So let's pick this one with points mode and change opacity to something like 20% for example. If you will change opacity to 0%, you can make this shape absolutely transparent. I will switch to 20% here. And after you created this line, you can add more points here. Like so. As you can see in reference, all lines are smoothly curved. I did it like so. Let's pick this one and change opacity to 40%. To work faster in this case, I recommend you to create a lot of lines. Let's press Escape. 
It doesn't matter where you will create points, you will be able to manipulate or change anything later. So let's just create lines, even here, small line. You can see that this line is straight, but if you want to make it curved, add one more point and move it like so. Also, if you deselected this shape, you're selecting it again, make sure that fill is active and press G for gradient tool. All gradients will appear. So I will create more lines. You can create as many as you want. Let's switch to points. With hold and shift, let's choose these points, like so, and change opacity for them all to 10 or 20%. Then let's press V for selection tool to see what we get. Let's select this shape again, G for gradient tool. I think I need one more point here, and I will change opacity here. I will choose these two points, change opacity to 50%. You should simply have fun and experiment. Play with opacity of points, like this. Let's switch to lines and connect these two points. Switch to points and move them. You can always delete points. Try to improve design. There is nothing that can be broken. You can feel absolutely comfortable with freeform gradient. I'll change opacity for a few points. You can see that these gradients look quite boring here. And what I did when I created this illustration, I added even more points and made lines even more curved. Let's add a little transparency here. Don't forget that you can select a few points. With hold it shift. I will switch to lines and connect these two. Don't be afraid to move lines closer to each other. See what results you can get. You can move gradient lines even like this. You can see that you have some folded effect. And in some cases, it might work very well for you. I think that you get the main idea. I will stop on this result. Let's make this layer visible. Select it. Swap fill and stroke. Press Ctrl C. Let's make this layer invisible. We will use it later. Select this shape. Window. Transparency. Click here on Make Mask. This object will become invisible. That's because we have black color applied as mask. So let's click here on clip. It worked for me very well, but sometimes gradients might get broken. So before you will apply this opacity mask, simply make a copy of this gradient, just in case, make it invisible and rename it to gradient backup, for example. Also, you can press Ctrl Z to the moment Right before you applied opacity mask, gradients will look just as you applied them. And then try to use opacity mask again. And try to apply it until everything will work for you. As we have this layer copied, let's select mask mode. Just click on this window. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus V. This object has black color. And that's why ghosts have transparency in these areas. If you will change color to white, it won't be transparent. So let's change color to black. In mask mode, you can pick only mask objects. So let's return to usual mode. Click on this window. You will see all layers. If you will need to get rid of mask, just click here on release. And you will have these objects from mask as separate objects. I'll press Ctrl Z. Let's make this layer visible again. We need to add white glow in here, because it will make this illustration look even better. Effect, Stylize, Outer Glow, Preview. Let's change color to white. Your value can be different. I will use these values. 
and we will apply opacity mask to these objects again. Let's press Ctrl C with this object selected, transparency panel, make mask, let's click here on clip, select mask mode, press Ctrl plus Shift plus V. If you will enter appearance, you will see outer glow applied to mask object, you can delete it, and let's simply return to usual mode. We can hardly see glow in here, we can see it only if we will move this object, so I'll press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and we have copy of this object again. Also what you can notice is that this object is grey, that means that it's not fully transparent, so I will pick this one, enter mask mode, double click on color icon, and pick rich black color. Let's return to usual mode, and you can see that this object is transparent now. So I will delete this one and copy transparent object. So we made a copy of this object just to make outer glow effect look stronger. I will zoom in and when I make this object visible and invisible, you can see that outer glow effect looks stronger. Visible, invisible. After this, you can make one more copy and it will look even stronger. You can see it even from here. After this, you can click on Appearance or Properties panel. You will see Outer Glow effect. Just click on it, Preview, and change Blurring, for example, like so. So I have Blur 2 points for first layer, 5 points for second layer, and 10 points for third layer. After this, you can make this illustration look even more interesting and add one more opacity mask. Select this object, you can see that we have this opacity mask applied, let's click on it, create rectangle, gradient, let's pick linear gradient, in this window choose white and black, G for gradient 2, and you can play with it like so. I really love to use opacity mask, because it gives you really great results. I think I will delete layers with outer glow, I will leave only one of them. You can see that right here there's something wrong. We don't want this result, so just open this layer group and bring this mask up on top of gradient. If you see that opacity mask confuses you, simply try it on your own and watch some moments from this video again. I'm sure that after this you will use opacity mask as often as I do, because I use opacity mask almost each time I create some illustration. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials, see you in next videos!